yeah, this is why I think we're nothing but that sports talk. When you look back at the first loss of the Aces, like, what do you think that you have actually worked on and, and, and developed ever since that loss? And how you look to actually get at least a couple wins this month of August since you failed about four times? Since what? Wait, what's the last part? I said, what are your overall thoughts? On, we we heard the first. We heard the first part. What was the last part? Um, the part about like how you, what you, what you think, how, what you, how meaningful would it have been to get like a couple wins at least during the month of August since you played about four times. One, oh, played about four times. Oh, I thought you said something else. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's super important. Um, you know, we've only matched up with them once so far, and so being able to see how far. We've grown as a team and just building chemistry um, from the first time we've seen them to now. And obviously, obviously the commissioner's cup is going to be huge for us as well, because that's something that um, has been a goal of ours since the start of the season. And so being able to match up with the best team is always exciting. And, you know, we understand what we have to do to get a win against them. And it's going to be 40 minutes of uh, being locked in from start to finish on offense and defense. What will be the overall focus going into a huge month of August? highlighted by four games against the New York Liberty, one of them being the Commissioner's Cup. Well, I mean, if you can't get up to play New York, I think you got to check your pulse in this league. So uh, we have a ton of respect for them. Uh, they have so many weapons, uh, great coaching staff. Um, we're going to be in for some battles. There's no doubt. I mean, our uh, the remaining part of our schedule is very, very difficult. Uh, so we got the toughest road ahead of us. Um, so we just build and keep taking steps forward, but we, we, we got to continue to trek up the mountain. We don't want to get stuck on plateaus. We want to keep going up, moving. I, you know, I tell them all the time, I keep moving the bar, the, the goalpost on them. Um, but that's because I always believe there's more greatness in them, more greatness in them. And so we're going to try to continue to, uh, build them up and pull it out of them. How do you feel that you educate yourself as far as the type of team that the New York Liberty are based on how you've been following them all season long? Yeah, they're a great team, and I mean, they've only gotten better as the season has gone on. Um, you know, we watch a lot of film um, individually as a team, and so uh, we just try to prepare for them. We've been trying to prepare for them, and so, um, I mean, we know they they have a lot of great players, and so uh, we just have to, you know, kind of just stick to Aces basketball and taking care of the little things. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is just trying to put together four quarters um, and play good defense throughout the game, execute the defensive schemes. And a question for Chelsea Gray. Um, what are your overall thoughts on, on the way that the Aces have come together this season compared to recent season, since, which is highlighted by an undefeated home record going to the month of August? Yeah. Um, I don't even think we really even talk about, like, our record and stuff. Like, we're just, like, taking it game by game and just having fun while doing it. Um, I think – the biggest thing is like our chemistry is just so tight and like we have a tight knit group. Nothing, nobody takes anything personal. We just all want to be better. And we got workers, like we got dogs out there like trying to work. Oh, we're always staying late, um, trying to get better and um, trying to be our best selves. And I think that's the biggest thing for this group.